We're going to try out some of the new stuff. Um, play some of the new bounty stuff, like the wild card contract versus the standard contract, and see how that kind of works. I'm also going to be looking into... Uh, we have the roster here, and apparently there's a change in the equipment stuff. They've revamped it a little bit, so let's have a little look at that. Um, so let's if we go for the Betier, for example... Um, we can see that the like the little icons have changed. You can see this rate of fire, um, sway. There's a lot more. Um, I guess it looks prettier and it looks easier to see quickly uh, at a glance. And you can then see, you can see it, the damage in comparison to other weapons, which is cool and wasn't a thing before. Uh, in terms of what they were going to do with the legendary weapons, um, as you can see, now, whereas before it was quite hidden finding uh, a legendary weapon, now you can click uh, left or right whether or not you want that particular skin. For example, mine is the Dark Miasma. Um, and yeah, I think that's a really cool little um, trick they've added on now. Um, and I like it. I like it. It makes things a little bit more streamlined, makes things a little bit smoother, which I guess is what they were going for with that. So that's cool. Uh, I, and uh, what the f what is a gator trap? I don't even know what a gator trap is. But, but there you go. Oh, there we go. We got a duos game. We can test out the new stuff. We didn't even pick any of our weapons either, so we've just got the random build. But... <laughs> that came with the hero, so this is going to be an interesting... <laughs> this is going to be an interesting match. Can we expect anything different right off the bat? Did we click the wild card contract? I'm not sure. I hope we did. If we did, it should be nighttime, because I think the wild card contract said it would be... Uh, it would be in the night. It is nighttime. We did click wild card. Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that? Is that new? Let's go observe this thing. What is this? Oh, is this the wild card? Oh, it's a gator trap. What does that do? Well, that's new. I've never seen that before. Well, we found something new. That's definitely not in the regular game, as far as I'm aware. Pretty cool. Gator trap. There you go. Fuck it. Let's fight the butcher anyway. Let's get their attention. There's one dead. There is one dead. Let's see if we can get a firebomb off him or something. Aha, lantern. We're in the body. Perfect. Oh, it was everyone. Cool. We, don't, we didn't need to burn the body. There he comes. Oopa. Did we kill him? I killed him in a one out Nice. Definitely worth doing then. I'd like to have a little bit of a look at the um, the rest of the update stuff pertaining to the, the bounty hunt. Um, I'm not seeing much different. The only thing that we found was the gator traps, which looks new. So I'm going to have a little look at the list, see what we missed. Maybe I didn't pick up on something uh, slightly obvious. Okay, the moment of truth. Nothing that I saw. Well, let's go for an extract then, boys and girls. Hello, young man. Why don't you eat that Romero shot? And everyone will be happy about it. Good, well that's that. That's the end of our little tester game. Not much new to speak of, sadly. Not much new to speak of. Um, I'm just going to have a little flick through on the... Um, the update um, post to see what it is that they um, added, I guess.
Here's the uh, the left side peak advantage thing that they fixed that I was talking about earlier. Uh, really cool, as a lot of experienced hunt players know, um, you had to look out left first, because if you didn't, um, and you peeked out to the right-hand side, you had a massive disadvantage against the guy that was that was aiming down those sights at you. Whereas now, as you can see in the images here, uh, th that's been rectified. I don't. I think they said it's not perfect. I think it's a good fix for now, and they're looking to improve upon it. But as far as I can tell from these images, that's pretty pretty damn good, um, and that's really really cool. So that's a good thing to say, as always. Apparently, it this is not confirmed, but in there's a rumor going around that the alligator traps that we found earlier on in the free room in the bounty hunt is in fact going to be uh alligator free roaming boss that's uh outside of the compounds um which is super cool i hope that that's the case roaming gator boss outside the compounds sounds amazing that sounds absolutely brilliant so that's that's the that's the the, the rumor that's spinning around in the mill we don't know if that's going to be confirmed yet or, not, or not yet but that's super cool too um yeah i'm, I'm super uh hyped for that Okay, so that's it for the uh, 1.12 update review. Uh, we went through the wildcard contracts, um, so the deviating from like different times. So the wildcard contract in this case was a knight one, so if you guys wanted to play knight you could have, that's the new option available to you. We went through the roster equipments, showing you the guys that uh, they've updated the look of the... Um, the look of the weapons uh, and how it shows the stats and stuff like that and also that it's now easier to sort of select between your regular guns and your legendary weapons as well which I think is a really cool little neat fix added thing. Um, we've done, we went through the tutorial in another video, um, check that one out if you haven't seen it yet, it's the 1.12 update new basic and advanced tutorial that's super cool. Hey guys, Editor Ryan here today back with the rest of the 1.12 update patch stuff that Twitch Ryan decided to forget. So we have quest lines, we have the Ward of the Reptilian here, which he, you know, past tense Ryan decided not to acknowledge at all. Um, really cool new feature that they're adding. You can choose what quests it is that you want to do, um, and you go down this sort of completion wheel, earning more and more rewards uh until you get the final reward which is the scaled ward or the skin um they have a certain time limit to do those things in and you get some cool unique stuff that comes with that and the other thing that we missed as well on yesterday's streams was the damage logs so i'm just gonna show you that now quickly so i'm just gonna jump into the advanced tutorial and we're gonna get killed by um a meathead or whatever, you know, creature is close enough to murder us. And I can show you guys the new features of the damage log. You know what, we'll kill the hive so we can see it on the damage log. Oh no, we're taking damage. We'll kill the hive, and now we'll go get killed by a meathead. Or an immolator, that will do. Hello, immolators. No, we're burning. Immolators are giving us a bad time. Oh, and we're dead. Yikes. So, here is all of the damage. So, you see that um, the outbound damage is highlighted in grey. So, we killed that uh, hive, did a little bit of damage to that grunt. Uh, did a bit of damage to an immolator, killed a grunt, and it's got all the time stamps there as well, showing us when that happened. You've got the inbound damage, which is highlighted in red, um, and that's, you know, damage taken from the hive, damage taken from the grunt, and the immolator, as well as the death blow that killed us. And you've also got, in between both the inbound and outbound damage, you have the green now, which is pretty cool, and that shows... Um, when, like, there are healing factors, so you stopped burning, for example, or um, regeneration, natural regeneration of health over time, as you know, happens in Hunt. One thing that I cannot show you 
is um, the player's names because we're not playing on PvP right now, but that would come up if you were taking damage from a player and not uh, a PvE character like the Immolator. So yeah, that is everything now. I've covered everything. Back to you, regular yesterday Twitch Ryan. Editor Ryan, out. <laughs> and that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. We did a little game walkthrough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. Done.